feel the time come just to buy some work and shoe. Oh, when you got to steal a dime, just to buy some work and shoe. Seems like you're never gonna shake them, those steel river blue. Yeah. Coming over from Grangetown. Nick Higgins. Qualified five years. All the reports are good. He said he wanted a driver. Mm -hmm. Listen. What happened to George? I can't allow it to happen again. Well, what do you want to do, Bill? Lecture at the schools? Half the little bastards who brick fire engines don't bother going. I want to put cameras in the cabs. Catch them on film. It was on the table once before and got rejected out of hand. Maybe things have changed. Maybe it's Bill, but I cannot guarantee that the money's still available. Everything now is increased productivity. You know that, son. Think how much more productive a firefighter's gonna be if he's not blind or dead. Myself. Every time I see her, I just cock it up. Go to pieces. Stand here. You. Yeah, he is. What do you want to say? I'll do it. No. Why not? No. Because. You'll thank me. I know you will. No. S S S Shit. If you've come to nick our crisps again, you can sod off. No, I was going to tell you that. You know, um. Oh, what? Hey, Sandra, cop below this. It's our car for George. Nice car. Maybe next time. I just hope they can cook better than Roger and fart less than you, Sonny. What, what's wrong with my cooking? Prunes, man, that's what's wrong. I like prunes. Yeah, we've noticed. You put them in everything. Come on, look busy. Day after you cook, there's never any toilet paper left in the toilet. Nah, it's just soft shite, pet. Yeah. No problem. Phil McGlinchey, station officer. You made good time. I don't hang about. Everyone, this is Nicky Higgins. Nicky, this is everyone. Well, almost. Hi. Hiya. Hello. Hi. Right. Right. Hurricane Higgins. All these years, it never occurred to me. I'll show you around. Oh. Rec room, dorm. Chief said you've been qualified for five years. Stocks in for four, then Grange Channel last year. Control room through there. Good bunch? I got by. Mess. Do you have any dietary requirements? Only that it's edible. That could be a problem. I want you with me on Alpha One for the first week. See how we do things. I'm driving? No. Near rear side. Get to know the area first. I don't know what they told you about why you had to be here. You were a man down. I didn't ask the details. We got bricked on the way to a show. The man that you were covering for, George Barnes, was driving. He lost an eye. Dead man's boots? No, not quite. But it's affected everybody. You mean the sympathy towards him could spill over into animosity towards me? Yeah, it's possible. It's okay. I'm a big girl, I can handle it. Good. Hello? 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 Hello?
Hello. Julie Priestley. Priestley? Haven't I just met one of those? Yeah, uh, station sub-officer, Alan. It's me dad. How cosy. Dad, daughter, brother, brother. I got here on my own merits. Of course you did. What did you do before? Kill people for a living. Army. You? I save people for a living. Control room. Which bunk? That's George's. Your problem is, every time you see Kate, you lose all power, rational thought. It's called love, man. No, I, I, I just like her. Whatever. It happens. Ever seen the movie, Roxanne? No. No? Only number seven in the all-time list of films about firefighters. Anyway, in that, this bloke fancies Daryl Anna, who's a mermaid. That's Splash. Is it? Anyway, he doesn't let her tell her, like you. So we get to Steve Martin, who's got a big nose to welcome. The way I see it is, if it worked for him, it can work for you. Yeah, but that was just a movie. Mm -hmm. This is real. Hello. Would I do something like this if I didn't think it could help you? Trust me. Or would you rather stand in a corridor and spit all over her? You really think it'll help? I know so. I thought it failed in Roxanne. I know it did. But Andy doesn't have to know that, does he? What is she? Covering George or replacing him. Nikki? At the moment she's covering. At the moment? No decisions have been made. Well, sounds like they have to me. Tony. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to work out that George isn't gonna make it back here as a firefighter. But does he know that? Not officially. This is his life. How would you feel if this was all suddenly taken away from you? Through no fault of your own, but because some little bastard... Is there something else he could do? Valuable. So he still felt a part of it. I'll ask. I'm not making any promises, but I'll ask. George, mate, you look great. Ah, I wish I could say the same about you. <laughs> Even through one good eye, you're still an ugly bugger, man. <laughs> hey. Welcome back, mate. Oh, oh, I was watching the clock at home. I knew you lot would be here. I hope you don't mind me coming. Not at all. How are you? Day to day. Alpha 2 only, Alpha 2. See you later. Bye. Nick, don't worry, it's not us, it's just Alpha 2. You must be George, I'm your replacement. Oh, yeah.
right, we're trying. You should find a spring. You keep it. away from my child. I'm only trying to help. If you hadn't told him to put his hand in there, this would never have happened. Let's just try and keep calm, okay? No, I'm gonna have to cut it off. Hacksaw, Sonny. Mom! No, 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 the box. I'm gonna cut the box, not your hand. It'll be all right. What about the rabbit? Ow! He's bitten me again! I if we're lucky, we won't touch the rabbit. Where exactly is it? Yeah. Confirm, and just above his hand with the sprung floor. Ow! Then how is it biting him? It's not through the floor. Why are we having the cake? Ow! <laughs> Why do you think it is you can't get the words out to talk to her? It's not like you're stuck there all the time. I don't know. Maybe I'm just frightened of being rejected. Apparently I didn't stutter at all before I got taken into care. You were in care? No, all three of us. It was about their age. Children, who let the dog out? Please. I don't want him getting excited. He hates sudden noises. Because he's ruining my box. Sod your box? What about his arm? Um, we've got a problem. I'm gonna need assistance. Assistance? Why? Oh, no. Where's the dog? Oh, shit. Are you sure it's stuck? I tried pulling it. Excuse me. Rabbi just chased the cat up the tree. Get assistance. Assist number two. Are you all right down there? Yeah, it's just new detergent I'm using. See you later, Georgie. Dogs and cats jobs. Don't you just love them? See what you're made of. <laughs> Three incidents, one house. That's a new record. You see the car? No, not yet. Is this lad need oil in or something? Is it dead? N no. But I don't think it's very pleased about it. See what your rabbit's done. Oh. I'll get into the hospital if I were you. Has he had a tetanus job? Yeah. No. I don't know. Killed it. Me? I haven't touched it. Look, can you see any hacksaw marks on it? You haven't heard the last of this. Oh, haven't I? Well, in that case, I better get your address so I can send you the special service call out bill for 75 quid. I hope you're not thinking of paying him. That's it. How oh, is it? Oh. oh, he's really sweet. It looks like one of them birthday cards. <laughs> oh, no. He's just pooed in me helmet. <laughs> oh, no, I if I can smell you from here, man. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Georgie, present. Oh, Jesus, Ron. Oh, we got you some birthday cake and all. But I ate it. 
Chocolate? I was in the shape of a hedgehog. Oh, it was lovely, man. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> hey, we missed your pal. What do you think the reaction would be if I pushed for cameras in the cabs? Well, your biggest problem is going to be the drivers. I mean, they see it as Big Brother watching them so they don't break the speed limit on the way back from shouts. Oh, come on, Ellen, you know that's not what they're for. I'm just telling you where they see it. I reckon if we catch some of these wee shites on film, go public with it, it'd stop in no time. It's not me you have to convince. I voted for it the first time round before you joined. The others are galvanised against it. By who? One guess. Tony Barnes. Oh, Roger. You've done it again? There's prunes. No, no. This is a French peasant classic. What's classic about chickens too with prunes? It's not chicken. Not chicken? Then what is it, Roger? Rabbit. Oh, <laughs> you didn't. Please tell me this isn't what I spent most of the morning trying to free. It was dead. It was his pride and joy. He wanted to sue me over it. How did you get it, Roger? I told him I was going to bury it. <laughs> you got it onions, garlic, and a cream sauce. <laughs> well, I like it. Are you going to eat that? I knew it when I was a magician's assistant. <laughs> Can we make it a rule? Not to cook anything that we've tried to rescue. Hey, boy, you all disappear this week's book. Oh, don't tell me. It's Watership Down. <laughs> You've seen the movie. You've heard the staff. Now read the book. Oh, Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. More bloody animals. It's all going down. Yes, no, please don't tell him what's all. We were back entrance, but I only had one dinner for him. How long's George been here? Came in just after we started our shift. Do you think he's going to find it easy to let this place go? Who knows? We haven't been introduced. No. You're his brother, aren't you? What about it? I was just thinking it must be hard for you. It's part of the job. We all know the risks. Tony, we need to get something straight. I can't help what happened to your brother, and I'm sorry it happened. But I'm not the one who put the brick through the windscreen, and I didn't make him lose his eye. So don't take it out on me just because I'm the one filling his place in an engine. I'm here now. He isn't. Deal with it. Babe, man, could you stop scratching? I can't concentrate. I can't help it, man. I knew I should have used that non-bio. Dave, do you put your pants and your shirt in the same wash? Yeah, why? Well, I know I've trained in law, Dave, and not medical science, but um, my layman's diagnosis is that it's got nothing to do with detergent. Otherwise, you'd be scratching up here. Oh, no, my friend. You got crabs. <laughs> crabs? Crabs. Crabs? Crabs. <laughs> no. no! I can't have. How? No, 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 stop what? Oh, wait a minute. I've been seeing this woman. She's got kids. Maybe they got nits. Give them to her, and when she was... When she was... She gave them to me. Dave, Dave. No, I'm sorry. But pubic lice and head lice, two different barrels of fish. You see, pubic lice, well, they tend not to come north of the border. And head lice, well, frankly, Dave, they just can't stand the smell. Actually, that's not true. Pubic lice can't live on the scalp, but they can live in the beard. Well, that's it. You got them from a beard. What? <laughs> what? Crabs? Oh, God, man. <laughs> You're a dog, Dave. It's an occupational hazard, man. Bag of bam. How are you feeling? Oh, headache. Start off okay and then they just get old. Why don't you go home? Get some rest. No, 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 I'll, I'll be fine. 
You don't have to be here, George. Oh, I know that. Well, there's nothing for me at home. Can't even watch the snooper on the telly because the colours go all blurry. In that case, you'll have to remind me to give you a game sometime. I feel so bloody useless. Still, I'll go if you want me to. I don't want to be in the way. No, you're not, man. It's not that. I just... I just want you to do whatever you think's best for you, okay? Nobody's forcing you to do anything. Life's a bitch. There's no justice. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. Beautiful. I l l love thee to the depth and breath. This is no good. I can't do this. You can. Girls love this stuff. Maybe it's your breathing. To every word I just think of Katie and it starts me off again. I think of something else. Um, wallpaper, elephants, gravel. Think of anything. Just don't think of her. Then what's the point? I'm meant to be expressing my feelings to her. See? He didn't stutter then. Go easy on him, man. Excuse me. What happened? Arrest him on a gate, police. I told you they'd just take the piss. No, sorry, it's not funny. Usually bring off the bedstead. Keys locked in the lock. We'll get a lot of these. Standard issue Chinese police force wrapped in a pink bit of fluff and a key with a terminal design fault. As a fire brigade, we recommend silk scarves as our mode of light bondage. Don't mind him. He's just a prat. I'll have you out of these in no time, OK? Yeah, while you're here, couldn't do us a favour. I love thee with the breath, smiles, tears of all my life. And if God choose, I shall but love thee better after death. That's so lovely. Really? There you go. See, why can't you be romantic? Or you ever want to bloody bunk, you bastard? You see, George? Uh, yeah. Why? He... he went home. You know, I've got no problem with cameras at all on the way to your shout, but do we have to have them on on the way back? See, if we get things thrown at us before, during and after shouts, it makes no difference. We either have cameras on the cabs or we don't. Mate of mine said they got them in Colby. On the rough estates, the Britain stopped after a couple of prosecutions. Welcome to Blue Watch. Thanks. Not exactly the worst I've ever seen. Right, let's make up the gear and head out! Me. I wonder if you could help. When was the last time you saw him? Three days ago. But I usually see him at the window every day. And when you say disabled, how disabled? Well, he's paraplegic. He's got a curtain behind that door. Does he have a carer? Oh, aye. Social services. But the farm I'm out. Uh, what's his name? Bite. Harry Boyd. 
Mr. Boyd, Fire Brigade. Mr. Boyd, can you hear me? Yeah, there's a faint sound. Anyway, in around the back? No, and it's replacement window hell. Key to number one. You've got keys. There you go. <laughs> to every house in the country. Get an ambulance. Dave, I'm a little quiet. Right, get a blanket and some water. Blanket downstairs bedroom. I'll get the oxygen. How is he? He's weak. His chair's failed, the wheels have locked. It's all right, Harry. We're here now. It's over. can't do this. What's he talking about? Why? What's the problem? It's manual handling in a confined area. How are we going to lift him? He's a paraplegic. What's he meant to do? Get up out of his chair and walk? Because if he could, he wouldn't have been stuck there for three days and be half bloody dead. You guys are the experts. What, 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 what's he saying? Yeah, we're just trying to work out how to get you up. Get out. Wait by your ice cream, man. Don't do us lads as usual. Right. You ready, Harry? It's time to go. Look out. One, two, three, lift. Ah, that's it. That's it. Right. Get this lock fixed. I was five when we got taken into care. Me, my younger brother, baby sister. I'm drank, couldn't cope. When I was eight, my brother and sister were fostered and then adopted. They didn't take me, because I still wet the bed. You better not slip with that razor. Have faith, Dave. The thing is, Dave, there's two ways of doing this. You can go down the chemist, pick up some ointment, you put it all over your body and wait 24 hours, and hopefully after that all your little friends would have died. <laughs> this way, Dave. <laughs> it's over in five minutes. <laughs> right, Dave. Trousers down. Ah. Get them off, big man. <laughs> now, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> right. Shaving foam. Shaving foam. Excuse me, nurse. <laughs> oh. 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 Razor. Razor. Oh, no, no, do I have to? <laughs> oh, be a man, Dave. We need to get rid of this little safari park. <laughs> no! What happened to George? We have to make sure it doesn't happen again. Shouldn't have happened in the first place. And maybe if we'd had cameras in the cabs, it wouldn't have. Reports from fire services around the country. All of them installed cameras in the cabs and all of them saw massive reductions in the amount of antisocial behavior directed towards them. You know, don't you? What do I know? That I opposed their introduction. You can't blame me for what happened to George. I'm not, Tommy. I opposed cameras being installed because I thought they'd be used against us. Just like every other concession we've made. You've modernized here, why not here? You do realize you went 31 miles an hour in a build-up area. 
Did I? I'm sorry. It was the adrenaline. Oh, we can't see the adrenaline on the pictures. Tough. You're fired. Three points on your license. And that was a legitimate concern. Don't make me feel guilty. Because my brother was on the receiving end of some bastard brick. Tony. If I'd wanted to humiliate you over something that happened before I even came here, I would have done it in front of the rest of the watch. Which is why I'm asking you in private to reconsider your opposition. They listen to you. They respect you. If you're big enough to stand up and say that you got it wrong, we can make sure this never happens again. Now that is a pretty neat job. Mm. 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 If I do say so myself. Mm. More water, miss. More water? <laughs> oh, Bob, watch where you're going. Sorry, I didn't see you. You didn't stutter. When? Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have drawn attention to it. No, no. I don't always. You don't on the radio? No, it's only, um, was l l largely when I'm with... Women? You. Is it something I do? No. Something I say? No. I just get nervous. With me? Yeah. Well, I have to make an effort not to be so intimidating, won't I? Andy, where's the water? We're trying to shave his nuts in here. I never realised he had such nice eyes. Maybe that's because when you walk into a room, he leaves it. <laughs> it's difficult to notice things like eyes when you're separated by a cavity wall. <laughs> yeah, why do you think he does that? What? What? Why do you think he divvy? You're so shite. <laughs> Everyone knew he fancied you. It was obvious. Everyone. How come I have noticed? I wonder if I could borrow your pencil. Pencil? Yeah. Yeah, we've got loads. He didn't stutter that time, did he? Not once. Fire service. We have notification of an automatic fire alarm. Can you confirm, please? Over. How many people are in the building? 250. Right, proceed with evacuation. We are responding. Green Hill Hospital. It's one of our regulars at local mental hospital. Alpha one received. Aye. Priority on arrival is secure evacuation. We've got several patients in there who are at the injury themselves, so let's get them out safely and securely. Police! They're on their way. The AFA was reported in the laundry room in the basement, but reports are that the smoke spreading. So get your BAs ready. Nicky, Jeremy, I want you to find the seat of the fire and examine and report back. No heroics, okay? How many asked this up there? At least five, I know of. Right through. Right past. Uh, we've evacuated this area. There's also the annex. Good to be here, Ronnie.
the evacuation's proceeding. What's the position in the secure way? We can count for four of the arsonists, but there's one missing. Which one? Hooper. John Hooper. Great. You know him? Oh, yes. We know his fires. Elaborate, highly dangerous. I'd like him to establish something minor than had another ingredient. He used to be a chemistry teacher. Okay, Roger that. What? Nicky and Jez have just been tripwires. Oh. Okay, assess, but proceed with caution. What? Let's get that fur out in the second floor. Be a controlled garage. Come in, Rog. Sounds like a come on fur. He's playing games. So what's the real McCoy? you over extreme caution reason to suspect elaborate arson what can you see over Receive via control. we have the seat of the fire amongst wet laundry smoke extremely dense over received stand by but laundry what the hell is that about Hooper, you can only work with what's on site. You can't have gone out shopping. He's got his hands on the cash or something. Yeah, that's just a sideshow. First of all, hazardous and flammable substances bleaching agents, cleaning fluids. Why well, create a blanket of smoke? He knows wet laundry's not gonna flame. What's the smoke sitting on top of? Is it holding something down? Check it for possible. Excuse me! Excuse me! Yours. You found Wilson. Yes. Now don't leave him behind next time. I think that's the last of them. Can we have confirmation of numbers of persons on the counter score? Over. It's got to be a gas. If it's liquid, why use the smoke? The gas that sinks beneath the smoke line. Julie. Shit. LPG. I think we found it. Oh, the stuff leaks. Exactly. Where's the laundry? It's down there. Roger the bill. We've got some LPG being pumped in the basement. Oh, no, I think we've got some gas counters gone missing and all over. It's LPG. Yeah, oh, it makes sense. It sinks below the smoke line. Then one spot, the whole place blows. Yeah, the big thing was the heat source. We create more smoke, and that spreads the gas. Break the windows. That way, you can get the smoke out and lift the lid on the gas. Put more oxygen to its heat source, and that could be the spark. Then let's get the team out and smash the windows from the outside. Use the building to protect us from any blast. Yeah. There. Let's get them out. So now, let's start smashing windows. Be a control to be a team. Request immediate evacuation. Understood. Over. Be a control. Only one person on account is for. Over. <laughs> hey, you! Come back! We've got a person moving round. Sight of going towards the basement. Be in control. Evacuate. Evacuate. Andy! Andy!
Asif and Andy. I don't know, mate. Asif, is Andy with you? I'm still looking for him. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's not good. No. I need the gas to sit underneath the smoke. Ugh. Why do you people always try and spoil things? Hey, hey, listen. Listen. Why don't I help you? Yeah? I could like the match. Good. <laughs> Better I do it. Huh. I think you'll be get rid of pubic lice. They can still hold on to the stubble. Oh, oh, oh. oh you bastards! <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky they didn't whack a load of after safe down there. Oh, that would sting. It's also highly flammable. You could have been running around with your balls on fire. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to officially request spy cameras in the cabs. I've had a word with the watch, and we're of the opinion if we get a couple of high-profile convictions, then hopefully the bricking will stop. Hopefully? What makes you so sure it will? Well, other brigades. Cameras have been proved to work elsewhere. I see no reason why that shouldn't be the case here. And if you remember, it was only because we were being filmed in Alpha 2 that we managed to capture an image of who bricked Alpha 1. Right. I'll raise it with HQ. You can also tell him that I was wrong. And every time I look at our George, I'm reminded just how wrong I was. You hurt your shoulder? Oh, uh, yeah, yes. Yeah, it's, it's just, just bruised. I was wondering if you wanted someone to kiss it better. a train, Harry. See if we can get you out of here. Hey, what's that? Look at that one, that else. It's a bloody tattoo. Red devil. It's all right, ladies. Calm down. All right. It's all right. It's all right. When you got to steal a diamond.
For information on fire safety and how to protect yourself, your family and your home, visit www.firekills.gov.uk. Well, stay with us for Wednesday's news. Trevor McDonald has the latest in just a few moments. Thank you.